double tails, the broccoli. This is okay. Look, we're going to try to find beauty even in the end, friends. Beauty even in the cycle of life, as difficult as it can be. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Wobble Dogs, where broccoli just passed away of old age. <laughs> and that means that now we've got these double tails. Should I start collecting the tails? <gasps> Should I start collecting the tails of the dogs? That's a little morbid. But, like, what do you guys think? Should I start, like, a little collection of the tails and we can just kind of pretend it's, like, the feathers off of a bird or something? Okay, kind of morbid? Major morbid. Really big morbid. Um, but then we could also one day, like, drop a little puppy in there to, like, let them go ahead and have a snack and just kind of see whatever they ended up getting for all of these, these pieces. So, you know what? I'm actually gonna... I, I kind of like that idea. Uh, it's kind of intriguing to me. So I'm gonna pull these tails. Like they're kind of pretty. Can I just pretend they're dog feathers? Why not? <laughs> these are dogs and chrysalises, so why not? Oh, and here we go. I want to memorialize broccoli so that we can see a broccoli, our amazing broccoli. I want to be able to see them inside of our our chamber. So let me come over here. All right, I don't want to be with Pancake. Raindrop and Weber do need to come out. Is this broccoli? Let me see if I can memorialize. Memorialize. It's broccoli! All right, and we can actually call forth broccoli as ghost. Yay, broccoli! I'm so happy to see you again. But yeah, maybe keeping their tails is a little bit of a weird thing to do to say the least, uh, but I kind of almost like that idea. Just a touch, just a touch, because there's plenty of legs, usually, uh, and there's plenty of other pieces that the puppies can go ahead and be able to eat from. Um, wow, so I don't know, really morbid thought, but it, it could be kind of artsy. Don't know how I feel about it, um, but I don't know, like, everything else we do is kind of weird too so maybe I'll start collecting the tails also there's still a lot of body parts left over so let's go ahead and welcome back to Wobble Dogs friends I'm going to start oh no you do not need to chew on the poop sing wing I will praise you absolutely for like playing with the toys I think sing wings down here trying to find toys to play with are they going for that piece of bark <gasps> I think they are going for that piece of bark yeah yeah, does that make you happy, Singwing? Oh, I'm so glad. Here, grab it. Grab this piece of bark. There you go. Singwing has a little bit of an aloof personality. They're rude to other dogs and they don't like being pet. But that doesn't mean that they can't go ahead and have fun. I want them to be able to, like, have a good time, throwing these objects around, playing with toys. Aww. See, maybe Singwing's just a little shy. There we go. All right, that makes me happy. But all right, so let's continue to care for this new generation of Wobble Dogs. We're also going to open up this <gasps> capsule with a broken pillar in it. Oh, that sounds amazing. And we're going to tidy up this room a little bit because Broccoli, before they actually passed away, did leave us with, whoops, uh, every time I do that every time. I need to make sure, there we go. But Broccoli left us with this amazing capsule right at the very end of their life where they actually gave us a brand new decoration that I am just so freaking touched by because it's an armchair. Entirely different from an armed, in quotation marks, chair. Good, so it won't blow up on us while we do this. Uh, but Sing Wing seems to want a little bit of room to be able to play, so I'm gonna move, oh, there's another capsule back here. I'm going to remove some of this to give the puppies a little more room to play. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and put down, Sing Wing seems pretty happy now, this armchair. And this is going to be just Broccoli's armchair where like they, they can, we can just imagine they can sit in here and just be thinking all about watching over the puppies from afar. Oh my goodness. Because, like, I just love that Broccoli was like, yeah, let me make this place even more homey and relaxing. Uh, and then there's a little book stack. It's a, kind of a creepy book stack, but I just like the idea of, you know, three-legged Broccoli making a little bit of room for the puppies to be able to, to be watched over. So this is now Broccoli's chair. All right, let's go ahead and open up this capsule too. <gasps> Jungle carpet! How did you know the secrets to my heart, friends? And then let's hatch Little Potato and Pancake! 
They've been in there too long, and Sing Wing's hoarding all the food. Oh, hey, little potato! Oh my gosh, little potato got so much longer! <laughs> Alright, so little potato has grown. Hopefully, Sing Wing will not uh, be rude to them. Let's clean up the spot. We also need to toss some of the broken teeth. Or, there we go, the little baby teeth out. Let me see if I can, can I, can I have that? Okay, no, little potato, little potato. Give. I'm gonna praise you because that was kind of adorable that you're shaking the object. There, can I have, there, all right. Yeah, little potato cracks me up because they just want to like, a little potato among a big pile of food. Little potato, you can usually find just hanging out in one of the food hordes that we have, like a squirrel. That's what little potato reminds me of, like a little squirrel. All right, let me yeet the teeth back. There's so much to do in our Wobble Dog Adventures Everyday Friends. No wonder it's been keeping me so busy. And let's get little Pancake out! Come on, we're not gonna let Sing Wing hog the whole area. We're gonna get the next generation going. Pancake! You are extremely glossy, Pancake. Your legs are like polished to a fine sheen and your tail is longer than your body at this point. That's amazing. Let's feed Pancake some things to make a big tail because that's really ridiculously cute. And Pancake, you have such a tiny head! <gasps> Can you guys imagine breeding Banana -na 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 heritage tiny head, which Pancake actually inherited, on Okta's body? What if we end up with a two-headed tiny head dog? That could be so fascinating! Alright, and actually we're gonna yeet Pancake and Little Potato upstairs. I know that seemed a little rude, but it's because there's so many dog parts up here that need nom. I know that seems a little weird. Okta, hang in there. Hang in there, Okta. But we're gonna go ahead and yeet them up here so hopefully like, they can come and maybe consume some of the, the bits and bobs of all of the various uh, dog parts that we still have left over. <laughs> Which again sounds horrible, but you know, we've gotta make sure that we don't waste all of these precious, precious, precious bits of the gut bacteria that Broccoli spent their whole life going ahead and trying to put together. Little Potato, are you having a good time or do you need some help? I, can, I can't tell sometimes. There you go. Pancake, you good? Hi, guys! Oh, look at the next generation, friends! I think there's hope yet! All right, let's figure out how we could make Okta's legs shorter, because I do want to try to take care of these dogs in a way that like gives them at least somewhat of a quality of life while they're here. Uh, let's see. So I want to check out... Dun, 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 dun. So we want something that does shorter, like, legs. So short legs, we want uh, a coconut, or we want a, a piece of... Or we want burritos. So are we just going to make it, like, burrito time? We might make it burrito time. Uh, and then wide stance and short legs with the coconut might help out a lot. Let's see, let's see. Brown coloration, droopy face, ham-like body. Skinny legs, tiny tail. No, 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 we want a big tail. And then the ectoplasmoid! We still need to have more of our ghost dogs hatch and then eat some of the ectoplasm. Because uh, I know that would definitely help us out. But let's actually, like... Oh, oh, little potato, did you just lay? Oh, you sneezed and laid a capsule, I think. With the haunted mall, little potato, good job. Sing Wing, are you chewing on one of the, okay, good. I think I'm always on Sing Wing for like chewing on one of the other dogs, but then they're never actually chewing on them. They're just like standing right up against them. Oh, thank you, Sing Wing. You have now freed the core of what? And then I'm gonna go ahead and lift this up. We go. All right, so I think we're gonna go ahead. That's not morbid whatsoever. Okay, well, thank you for taking care of that, Sing Wing. Uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try to get, should we have rain coconuts? Or, well, a burrito is probably going to help, but Octa's full, so we have to wait for that. Little Potato, I suppose you could, do you wanna eat, Little Potato, do you wanna eat a big burrito? Would you like to eat this? There you go. Good job. Apparently I need more burrito than that. Also, Little Potato, did you throw up recently because you have like no gut bacteria? Huh. Here, Little Potato, like, I, I know this is a little weird, but could you please eat Watt's leg? I think you'll get so much more out of it so you can mutate. Yeah, that actually gave us a lot of good stuff. All right, Little Potato. <gasps> Octa's ready to, to evolve again. All right, we're, let's do this. Octa? 
You and Singwing? I'm gonna go- Singwing, I swear. <gasps> Singwing, you are chewing! Okay, Singwing. No. Singwing, no! You are not allowed to bite. No bite. Singwing. No bite. Alright. Alright, I already pet Octa. Look at little pancakes like, yeah, yeah, that's right, you get back. Yeah, no bite. Alright, Singwing, uh-uh. Uh-uh. You're being naughty again. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna puppy Singwing. Sometimes getting a rude puppy just keeps you on your toes, I tell you what. Oh, and then Octa's already ready to hatch. Let's do it. Sooner we get to adult with Octa, the sooner- <gasps> Octa, you changed entirely! Oh my goodness, just all of that random DNA that we were like feeding it, we ended up here. Okay, so we're gonna try maybe with a bunch of uh, coconuts, I think, to try to make them Hmm, wider leg stands? Well, we don't really need a wider leg stand. Maybe we will go with a burrito. We'll have to see what else a burrito can offer. But we have larger width on the leg stands, larger body size, larger body girth. The snout size apparently really went up on these little ones. Snout length, I would love to increase. Nose size. Here, let's look at snout length. Oh my gosh, yeah, the snout length got much longer, which is like the actual like jaw size that they have. Oh, Octa! I can't wait till you're grown up so- Oh, who okay, can't- Tiny the second! You guys! Tiny the second the ghost managed to get themselves all the way back here. Who's a good ghost? You can do all the little bucking around that you want. That's adorable. Tiny the second, do you want to go ahead and try to eat something? You know what? The arrival of Tiny the second- Oh, oh no. Little potato, can you- can you drop that please? I know, I know. I don't want you to hoard poop. You can totally go ahead and play and shake object with the dirt clump though. Uh, but let's actually go ahead. And since Tiny the Second has decided to, to come and join us just to celebrate life, let's add in, let me look at both of them maybe. So we're thinking about a coconut, making a big pile of coconuts. And then we're also thinking about burritos. So we're thinking about coconuts and burritos. So, burritos are not in there. Every time! I don't know. Don't you guys think that you would expect to find a burrito in the fridge? I would expect to find a burrito in the fridge. I, I'm, I'm gonna be gentle on myself for getting that mixed up every time. All right, burrito, thick body, short legs. Coconut, inverted snout, wide stance, thick body, short legs. You know what, let's go with the coconuts because I think that could be kind of fun. Um, narrow stance and tense pattern, short body, yellow coloration, and then you know what? I kind of think cut fruit might be fun too. Just a little, just a little, just a little as a treat. All right, we're gonna make a big old pile of coconuts. And you know what? Fine. I, I kind of want to add a few more ham sliders just on the off chance we get droopy face dogs. Um, long body corn dog, brown body, yellow pattern, little from chicken nuggets, Long legs, orange coloration, thick body, short legs from burritos. So we're gonna make like a little pile of both things, more or less. Um, here we go. And then I think I'll move where the cut fruit can be found. Cause it's kind of fun to let the dogs have a little bit of freedom and being able to pick what they might want to go ahead and eat. Um, so then I'll put down, and I'll try to put the food like in central-ish locations. So there's a higher chance the puppers could reach them. Let's put down some cut fruit, just in case they, they want to go for that. And maybe ooh, a few honeycombs, which are for uh, the intense patterns. Phew! But all right, there we go! So that should uh, like provide a lot of different things. Tiny, go ahead and Tiny, eat the, eat the ham slider. <gasps> Good job, Tiny! Tiny the second! Oh! Hopefully that'll turn into ectoplasm and that'll work out for us. And meanwhile, Little Potato really seems to love the ham sliders. Like, this is not the first time. Look at everybody! They're all just having a good time! Oh, This is not the first time that, that we have had Little Potato do their best to go ahead and hoard, like, some food. This is so cute. Why is this all so cute? And Pancake's just kind of dancing in the background there. Oh, everybody's having a good time! All right, Pancake! Oh, good job, Pancake! So proud of you for eating that! All right, and hopefully you'll have more food soon, little friend. Okay, so, huh. all right, guys, let's go ahead and we're gonna hatch Sing Wing now. And Sing Wing, welcome! Oh, your nose is so big. 
I don't know why, but I just love the size of their nose. And I love the way that the snout is changing direction and we're getting something totally new and totally different. And also the leg girth and everything is starting to change. Snout rotation is going down so that their snout is more angled downward. Ear length is going up and they're getting glossier. Excellent. All right, I'm gonna toss this over here. <gasps> Look at that, now we've got some ectoplasm. What the heck? What? Who? What? <laughs> and we also have the ghost dogs partying it up in here. Who is doing that levitating? It's Celery the Second. Oh my word. All right, friends. Well, Celery the Second is clearly living it up, levitating things around the place. Uh, oh, and I needed to come through and actually grab all of the tails and yeet all of the tails into my new tail collection room I'm going to try out. Um, it looks like, I think... Oh, there's one of the tails! Found it! All right, it looks like the ghost dogs are actually playing with some of the tails. So I still don't know if I'm going to keep that up, the idea I had about like kind of grabbing the tails and uh, sort of like keeping them in their own little special bouquet room. That's kind of weird now that I think about it. I kind of wanted to arrange them in a way where like it looked like a bunch of pretty flowers or something. But now it just looks like a really morbid pile of dog tails. Gotta think about that. Let me let me have a little more time to co contemplate that kind of life project. But all right, guys. Akita, are you guys playing? Tiny Potato, what are you doing? I'm gonna praise, I think. I think they're playing. I don't think this is fight. No, I don't think this is fight. I think this is, yeah, look, their play meter is full. So I think they're actually having a good time. And meanwhile, Pancake has found some things to play with too. Oh, that's adorable. All right, everyone seems to be having fun. Oh, Pancake just buried that. Pancake, you're so neat. Oh my gosh, I didn't expect like Pancake to go ahead and try to bury something. All right. Well guys, I'm gonna try to yeet these teeth into the graveyard, and speaking of which, I think next time we're going to free our graveyard dogs, Weber, and let's see, who else do we have in there right now? Raindrop, that's right! So we'll go ahead and free our graveyard dogs to come and maybe enjoy a little bit of time with all of the ghosts who are frolicking about while we wait for Okta and some of the others to grow up so that we can try to breed a multi-headed dog, because why not? But all right, if you guys could, do please leave a like for this little puppy party that we have going on in here. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more chaotic adventures, then do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, whew, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!